Good evening and thanks for joining us here. I'm Mike Gillespie. As we get started tonight, the rain has eased, but the water remains. What has been high standing and in some cases this week, dangerous water still being seen tonight in parts of the coastal bend. The update here in tonight's top story. Now among the many areas we've been keeping an eye on across our part of the world is the area near the Nueces River, particularly near County Road 73. You'll recall some concern there earlier this week is rising water caused a problem for residents who live out that way. We are happy to say that a check of things tonight reveals that the floodwaters are going down now that the heavy rain has stopped. That also seems to be the story in other parts of the county as well and should continue into the weekend. Other areas across the coastal bend, though, also seeing high water like, well, in Aransas Pass. Several streets and area businesses are still underwater there. That includes the gas station you see here. Our 3 News drone capturing a look at what Buck's Convenience Store off of Business 35 and the, I one, uh, the 188 junction in Aransas Pass looks like tonight after this week's heavy rain. Now, they've actually had to shut down their pumps so that customers won't drive into the deep water. They've been pulling up here on the side here. Pretty smart not driving through it for the most part. Come in anyway. We can't sell gas right now, but come on in anyways. That's cashier Jamie Kraft with the gas station. She says that they haven't seen this kind of flooding since 2017 when Hurricane Harvey hit. Neighboring cities like Rockport also dealing with flooding from this week's heavy rain. The city of Rockport joining Nueces County in issuing a disaster declaration. Because of that disaster declaration, the state of Texas has sent several crews to Rockport to help with rescue and recovery efforts. Four teams of Texas Task Force One, each with three members, are in Rockport with swift water rescue boats. The Department of Public Safety has also sent a marine unit. Rockport City officials urge drivers to pay attention to barricades and not try to drive around them. If you do need to move through standing water, they ask that you drive slowly so as to not cause a wake that could damage neighborhood homes. By the way, this is the ninth disaster in Rockport over just the last four years. And all of this rain obviously affecting our local lake levels, which in turn impacts our impacts our watershed. Chief Meteorologist Alan Holt joins us tonight with a look at some of that, plus just how much rain we've seen so far this week. Alan? Mike, today Rockport again, the big winner in terms of rainfall totals, at least as of the six o'clock hour, over an inch there, almost an inch in Port Aransas. Corpus Christi, the city, a lot of us got a lot of rain this morning with the airport. A lot of that rain missed the airport to the east, only about a tenth of an inch there. These are from some of the reports around the area, over a half, uh, an, a foot and a half of rain in Rockport. Aransas Pass also up near 15 inches of rain. Parts of Corpus Christi over 13 inches of rain naval naval air station around eight inches so a lot of rain a lot of that falling near the coast so the watershed didn't really benefit a whole lot over the past few days we're maintaining this 58.6 percent mark for the month we haven't really changed a whole lot, so we're holding steady in that department. We do have, though, some more showers moving in from the south. These are going to be the ones we track here. Should be in Corpus Christi uh, in about an hour or a little bit more. So we'll put a timeline on these coming up in the full weather segment. I will say real quick that these are not going to be those tropical feeder bands. They're much quicker moving, so the flood threat not as high with that activity. Mike.